Hey, COVID alert for you tonight. The pandemic hitting a grim milestone. More than 1 million people in the U.S. have died from this virus. A new Monmouth University poll showing only 23% of Americans are even worried about COVID anymore and that vaccination rates have actually hit a wall. But a grant from the New Jersey Department of Health is hoping to change that. It'll help a local doctor bolster efforts to get low income communities vaccinated. New South New Jersey's Naomi Yane is live with those details. Naomi. Hey there, Brittany. Doctors say hospitalizations are going up, so booster shots will be even more important than ever, especially as we go into the summer and fall months. Across the Hudson in New York City, health officials have already issued an advisory to mask up indoors and in public spaces as New York goes into a high COVID alert. Here in our state, places like Essex County are seeing the numbers on new COVID cases ebb and flow steadily, with numbers much lower than they were this time last year. As a state, our vaccination rates are high. However, the number of people who've received the second booster dose continues to lag. With uptick of cases, with constant variants and new variants and more infectious variants, um, you know, we, we really need to keep the vigilance and keep, you know, our doing what our part um, because this is not going away. This is the new normal. Dr. Alexander Salerno is an internal medicine physician serving Essex County. Salerno Medical Associates has vaccinated thousands of New Jerseyans and was recently awarded a grant for $400,000 by the New Jersey Department of Health to ramp up vaccination efforts in Newark, Orange, East Orange and the surrounding areas. All neighborhoods that are predominantly black and have historically distrusted vaccines. Dr. Salerno says it's time to change the messenger and the messaging. We'd like to see if we could get other folks like, you know, more, you know, leaders in the community to talk about it with us. Incorporating medicine to with more socialness of it all. Right now, East Orange, Orange and Newark have the lowest vaccination rates in Essex County and the grant from the Department of Health would help efforts to reach those who are under vaccinated, especially young people. It's more the younger crowd that we're seeing, the ones in college coming fresh out of college who might have just gotten boosted for work purposes. But other than that, we don't really see them coming back to get their second doses or other boosters or anything like that. So Slurno uh, Medical Associates say their efforts right now are behind uh, health fairs and partnerships with local health departments. They also say they're already looking ahead uh, towards the fall months for possible surges. Brittany, I'll send it back inside to you. Naomi, thank you for that tonight.